You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin. The 20 captains of Premier League clubs, led by Liverpool skipper Jordan Henderson, are planning on setting up their own NHS fund, instead of the suggested 30% pay cut suggested by the league body. The PFA claims proposals for salary reductions would be detrimental to the NHS, as 500 million in wage cuts would mean a loss of over 200 million in tax contributions to the government. The union also questioned Health Secretary Matt Hancock's public criticism of footballers' salaries, despite several clubs furloughing staff, and it called on the league to increase its own 20 million charity pledge. New Republic of Ireland manager Stephen Kenny has said it's not a time to be celebrating getting a job due to the ongoing coronavirus crisis. It was announced on Saturday Kenny had replaced Mick McCarthy with his promotion from under-21 boss to senior manager accelerated after Ireland's Euro 2020 playoff was postponed indefinitely. So they will face Slovakia in the semi-final either at the end of the year or in March 2021. UEFA president Alexander Cheferin has said that the Champions and Europa League must be played by the end of August and will be abandoned if the virus restrictions delay it until September. Cheferin has seemingly set September as the start of the next campaign for European and domestic competition, but he still retains hope that late June, July and August could be playable. He stated that he would wait for developments, but added that playing behind closed doors was better than not playing at all. And Bayern Munich players will return to training today for the first time since the Bundesliga campaign was halted by the pandemic a month ago. The Bavarian Giants are the first major club to return back to work, but they will have strict regulations in place. This comes after manager Hansi Flick was given a three-year deal over the weekend, having won 18 of his 21 matches in interim charge. Thanks for watching this lunchtime, and remember to see other bulletins you can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and you can download our app for all the latest.